10 types of RTS players you will find in any strategy game. Salty McCrack, a truly bitter human being forged in the deepest, saltiest of salt mines. This creature plays RTS games purely to share his hatred for life and himself on the world. Whenever he enters the chat, negativity spills from his keyboard onto the screen. He will always blame his losses on the game balance issues. He always proclaims the faction that just beat him is an overpowered race. He plays the game non-stop but can't stop mentioning how broken and how sh** this game is. This kind of player you will usually find in mid gold to diamond leagues and due to their close-minded attitude, they will never progress further because of reflecting the blame onto others and tend to never realize their own flaws and where to improve. Mr. Extra Cheesy <laughs> This one is super easy and very cheesy. When going up against one of these cheesy players, don't expect the match to go on for very long. No need to focus on expanding or even building economy. The main goal when playing versus one of these cheese boys should be to scout every possible area of the map as either they have a proxy building or a cannon rush or some form of cheese waiting for you. These players has no late game macro skill but rely on their pure, unexpected, unbelievable, unorthodoxly cheesy builds to catch the opponent off guard and win a game before you can even get the army up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Quite the opposite of Mr. Cheesy. This ninja specializes in doing absolutely nothing. He will slowly build the economy, wall off wherever possible, throw down as many as possible static defensive structures and hide behind his walls while slowly expanding further into the map. In StarCraft, this ninja usually plays as Terrans and specialize in siege tank formations. The turtle players has very little micro skill and rely more on boring the enemy players to death and most of his wins is due to opponent committing suicide and then pressing GG. APM spammer. So you just got your first mechanical keyboard. So that flash is pressing all kinds of keys super fast while now you're playing an RTS game and decided you're gonna mindlessly click away on random units and areas on the map as fast as possible to look and sound like a professional player. This player is actually not the worst skilled kind of players but tend to forget their macro skills and build orders because of over spamming useless commands on the keyboard and mouse. The Golden Oldie, a true RTS veteran. The player who has stuck with the RTS genre since the dawn of Starcraft, Dune and Command and Conquer. By this time, this guy has all grown up, either staying in his mom's basement with a neck beard or he's married with a wife and kids screaming in the back around distracting him from the game. He has tons of knowledge of various RTS games but lack the ability to put any build order together. They just build what they want and lose most of their matches but still enjoy playing the game of RTS, most known for their time spent in Age of Empires. Prodigy Zero. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get the kid you go up against on a ladder, he never loses. He does not play so often, but he's just a natural born talented RTS god. APM like Flash, master tactician and grand strategist like a chess grandmaster predicting every move 8 moves ahead and not playing you like you are a newbie player. He might make you look bad going up against him, but don't feel bad. They don't know their own strength. They don't know how good they actually are. They are not doing this intentionally. They just can't yell being this damn good. Future Pro. This guy is in a Discord channel always asking questions and looking for practice partners. He's super dedicated but not very talented as of yet. He puts in all of the time and effort but unfortunately what he lacks in skill, he makes up in dedication. Soon his dedication will pay off and he will be amongst the top ranks. But for now, he's just analyzing every replay, watching every GSL stream and following every tournament and build order and knows exactly what goes on in the whole RTS game scene. A few more months and his dedication turns into pure hard earned skill. The Frugal Money Monger. One of the lowest APM players in the scene. He does not focus on producing an army. His main goal is to expand and get more money. His cash flow will be too high to spend as he focus on building economy over military. But unlike the turtle, he neglects defensive structures. He rather tends to lose focus, build a lot of buildings and try to get so much cash that if he do not attack him and kill him, he will just have a superior economy to be able to reproduce and sustain a non-stop army. Once he is satisfied with his stash of cash of course. The Quitter
The quarter is a mixed breed between Salty McCrack and the Future Pro. He's very hard on himself and always think he should be doing better. But with being so hard on himself, after losing a small battle, even a small part of his army, his automatic response is to hit GG and quit out. He does not believe in himself to think that he can even make a comeback. You will rather just back out, re and try to be better in the next match. The Foreigner Usually, the Russian. You will most likely get a good luck have fun response in all kinds of strange characters and symbols. These guys play very aggressive and they are super talented, but they can be quite bitter most of the matches. Lucky for most RTS games, there's no open mic feature because if there was, this is what you would be hearing whenever you could. <laughs> But now, you are rather fortunate to only be victim by his foreign keyboard commands. And the bonus type, the Korean. Unlike the Prodigy Serial, Koreans will welcome you in the game with a unique Korean character name. And this makes you already terrified before the match even starts. They are top tier, players born and bred into the RTS genre, practicing like robots every single timing and build order. It is best you just GG out and look for another opponent. What type of player do you despise the most? And if you are a fan of RTS games, and looking for more great RTS games to play, make sure you check out the video I'm leaving here on my top 5 upcoming and hidden RTS games.